it's another day date. Where are we going, hubby? This time I can get a Starbucks, right? <laughs> so two dates, two day dates, and no Starbucks. We're getting Starbucks today because there's a Starbucks inside Barnes and Nobles. We haven't done this in a long time. We used to go to Barnes and Nobles, I don't know, like once a month or something like that. Once a week back in the day. When yeah. No internet, way... no Amazon. <laughs> yeah, right. And we'd have a coffee and just use it like a library, wouldn't we? Yeah. Okay, guys. So, Hubby's in a bookstore right now. Just uh, one of those small little tiny bookstores off along the way. Anyway, I decided I'll just sit in the car. I'm going to actually edit one of my videos while he's inside looking. And then we're going to go to Barnes & Noble. First things the first, go to the bathroom. <laughs> you know, when you're almost 60, if you know where all the bathrooms are. Yeah. We have not been in here forever. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Oh, look at the cute Winnie the Pooh stuff. You know, I don't have a Winnie the Pooh classic Pooh, and I was just thinking that too. I know. <laughs> How much is it? Twenty-five dollars. Oh, they have a smaller one. See, so do I have any birthdays coming up? Not really. Not till. Well, Abby's birthday's in April. But I don't. She's not gonna want all these toys. She's gonna be thirteen. The littles are getting older. Soon they'll be having babies. <laughs> Not the girls, but my nephew's daughter. She's 18. Maybe one day. But my grandniece, uh, Gabriella, she's only one. Like one and a half. So it's funner. Isn't it funner to buy stuff for the littles? <laughs> Just is. She loves to play music and stuff. My, my niece takes her to music class every week. I mean, I mean, I tend to go our own ways in the bookstore. And then we'll sit down and get a coffee after, after we look around. And that's what we do. That's a cute memo pad. Just say no, Michelle. <laughs> I don't know, that one's kind of nice. I'm not getting it, so don't worry. But this is kind of nice. Look at that. That is my kind of planner. But I don't need it. To do this, breakfast. Yeah, that's. I have not seen one like that before. <gasps> Look at the big to do this is on the back. I don't need it though. I'm good. I'm good with my plain notebook. How much was that though? $22.95. Mm, it that's okay. When I was a preschool teacher, I would just love to come in here in the children's section and look at their new preschool books. They kind of have them in this back section here. And sometimes they had little animals, stuffed animals to go along with the books. I am not up on what is the newest thing. Used to be for me, Eric Carl books. I have a collection of those. I have this. This is a classic book. I don't need it. Fancy Nancy. The girls were like, we went to a Fancy Nancy um, play. The girls were liking this at one time. I don't think Alyssa is into it though. I was just about to say, I didn't see any uh, Easter stuff related, but here you go. Peter Rabbit. That's cute. 
Wouldn't that be cute if I decorated my uh, entryway table with Peter Rabbit? <laughs> and they got some bunny books. What is this? Learn how to crochet. Oh, that would be cute for the girls. They want me to teach them how to crochet. I'm not good at teaching. Heck, I'm not good at crocheting either. <laughs> to be honest with you, there's lots of mistakes when I crochet something. That would look cute on a tiered tray. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what else do they have over here? Some more Peter Rabbit stuff. Peasy books. Oh, that's cute. I should get that for Gabriella. Oh my goodness, that's that's adorable. It comes with little a play mat and little animals and stuff. However, I'm going to think on that because it's cheaper to get it off of Amazon and send it to her for free shipping rather than to buy this and try to ship it. They live in Boston, so that's a no, but I have to remember that. So, how much? Is that $14? Is that what that means? But it cost me 20 bucks to mail it. It's <laughs> fun, hubby. We're. Where, where do you think he is? Grumpy monkey. That's cute. How do babies sit at grandma? <laughs> That's cute. I don't know where he went. He headed that way, but usually he's over here in this section. Uh oh, I'm in trouble. Isn't that like the cutest bunny? That is so cute. Is that this one's up? It's not working though. It doesn't, like it. it doesn't work. But look, old. old classic poo. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. I'm gonna keep wandering. Okay. What were you looking at? Stuff. Stuff. Okay, y'all know I'm not a reader, so I'm here for the cow feet. <laughs> yeah.
got some kind of, what is it, cranberry orange blonde, blonde, whatever. And hubby got some kind of um, pizza doodle, pizza pretzel. And we're getting coffee, but we're waiting on that. And hubby's not buying a book. You're not buying a book. Go figure. It's too expensive. We haven't been here. What do you think? Like, I get it for two thirds. How, how long has it been? Six? Oh. Eight? Ten? Ten. Yeah. Ten years? I don't think it's been that long, has it? Maybe. Oh, wow. Maybe. And I got an iced white chocolate mocha. Iced white chocolate mocha? Yes. <laughs> and hubby got a job with chip frappuccino. But it's not. But it's not. It doesn't look like, yeah. Like you usually get. I don't know. Drink. <laughs> okay, we gotta get a coffee for our son. We're on the way home. I'm gonna buy this. I think it's only fourteen dollars. It's a little pricey, but I really like it. And we're gonna get that bunny. I don't know. Think on the Peter Rabbit thing. I might be able to find it on Amazon. I'm gonna get the bunny. I think that'll look cute in my, for my Easter display. Because I had like big stuffed animals for Easter. I got rid of all of them. So going small with decor. This is really cool. They're like wooden pieces. That's kind of cool. I'm not really sure how you play it. That's how kind of cool how they have like a game of the month. That's How many cool. times can I say that's cool? Apparently <laughs> four. Apparently. I'm gonna get some coffee to go. And we're gonna go to Publix and grab something for dinner. We have different treats here than they do at my Starbucks. Hey, I just stopped by Publix real quick to get something quick for dinner. And I really like these Rana meals when I don't feel like cooking. And I just picked up some already made Caesar salad and some juice that we needed. And of course, you know, our girl needs her chocolate. So I did that. I didn't know if we were going to eat the lasagna or the, um, what was it, sausage something or another um, mushroom thing so whenever i get these kind of meals though i always add something extra to it extra vegetables like um we didn't have the mushroom we ended up having lasagna but on another night we had the mushroom um linguine thing and i added onions and more mushrooms and chicken to it so for um the lasagna i usually buy the meat lasagna so they didn't have it so i ended up buying the cheese lasagna and hubby is definitely a meat eater, so I cooked up some chicken sausage to put on the side. We had a salad and some bread. I actually made French bread lots of times. I will buy the frozen, and I went ahead and bought a some French bread and made some garlic toast at, or garlic bread out of that. So there was that, and that was a quick and easy dinner.
Okay, guys, several days later, and I straightened up my craft room, except for this, but that's for another video. Actually, I didn't film that, because when I start filming for um, the craft room again, I want to get straight into to decluttering. But I wanted to show you something that had something to do with going on day dates or dates with hubby. Um, so, we kind of got away from doing that. Um... One, because of stupid COVID. And then two, because son living here got us sidetracked. And hubby not, hubby re being retired has uh, rejuvenated our marriage. Anyway, <laughs> so I want to go to, so hubby and I are not, um, so hubby and I first just got back from Home Depot. That wasn't a date. We just got a few things um, that we needed. Anyway, so we're not going to go on vacation this year we're not going to do a bunch of traveling um in our retirement we may decide to but we did lots of traveling over the years some of it i showed on youtube some of it was before i started youtube it started when son uh went to off to college the first thing we did was take a cruise um i think it wasn't several years i don't think i started youtube until we moved into this house yes obviously a couple years after we moved into this house anyway so we want to especially this year we want to explore florida because we don't do that very much we have been to saint augustine and a couple other places over the years we've done air shows in daytona but but we've done that and we don't want to do that anymore so i want to write down some things that we want to do here locally and Little day trips that we can do. There's a Japanese tea garden that we want to go to. That's about an hour and a half to two hours south of us, which I want to do soon because it's prime time for that. Now, um, but I want to show you an idea that you could do for um, doing things like that that you always forget to do and whatever. So a little day date. So let me show you. So I wanted to do something and I'm not finished making it. And um, I don't know. <sighs> so I started this. So I wanted to um, keep track of, well, not really keep track of, but I wanted to write the I ideas down so that um, we can remember and go through them and, and see which ones we did. So I already went, we went to Valkyria Gardens. So that was one. And I want to get like a little index card holder. Believe it or not, I do not have one. I'm sure I had one years ago and I don't. So I want to put some in, in some kind of like pretty little box. Where is where's the rest of my cards? Hold on a second. Alright, so get yourself some index cards. And you could do this for anything. You could do this for your cleaning thing. Because was at home with Nikki? She has that thing where you can buy... A set of cards like this and it gives you uh, instructions like you know clean your baseboards and then you put that the card at the back of the box and say it's done then go on to the next one so anyway so I I which kind of gave me this idea I might try doing the other one. I don't know for spring cleaning we'll see whether I do that or not but for this I thought that would be cute to do that and I started out writing it cute and then I got tired of it anyway so we went to Rock City Gardens and then we went to Barnes and Nobles and had coffee. So we've done those three things. So I want to do like a walk on the beach often. I should put those uh, several of these in there. And then there's a sanctuary near us, Turkey Creek. Um, we like to walk in there. Actually, there's several around our county that we could do. So, But we want to do that like now in the spring. And then this is the Japanese gardens that we want to go to. Um, that's south of us. So what I've been doing is while I'm sitting there watching TV, I have been writing down, looking up and writing down places to go that are quick little day trips, not nothing expensive or anything like that. Um, possibly a weekend thing where we stay at a hotel. Uh, I'm not sure. It depends how far it is. Anyway, and then this is in Fort Pierce. This is Nelson's Family Farms. I've been wanting to go there. I always want to go there in the um, fall. And we have not made it the last couple years. When I found this online, and I'm remembering there's a sunflower place too I would like to go to. I love going to farm stands, but they don't really have those in Florida. And this is the closest thing to that. 
one time we took a trip to uh, New England and one day when uh, amongst other stuff that we did that week, um, we just drove around one day going to Farmstown to Farmstown. And I just absolutely love that, that I made a mistake in writing that down. And this is a botanical gardens that is not far from us. Um, and then places to go to dinner that we have not gone in a really long time. Um, want to go to Makota's actually son wanted to do that. So we might, might bring him along. And then there's this place that's in down downtown old area near where we live um called mango mally so we want to go there it's a really cool um restaurant and then there's a place called the mansion that we want to go to dinner at and we do want to go to hollywood studios i've been trying to do that for a while really need to go before it gets hot so that's on the list maybe we'll wait till the fall to do that and walk through a downtown area, the old part of um, downtown that has old sh older shops and cute little shops that we want to go through. We want to maybe we could go to the zoo. These are upside down for some reason. Daytona uh, opened up a new aquarium, so we thought maybe we would want to do that. But that is like two and a half hours from us, so. Two and a half drive there, two and a half drive back. I'm not sure that's we'd have it might have to be an overnight thing or something. Um and then there's a, a Ernie Nixon Park that's near us. And <laughs> then I decided to start doing the decluttering and stuff. I don't know if I'll i I'll do that. Because I do have my printable list. So that was in there too. I was thinking about doing that anyway. That is my year. I'm going to look online on Amazon to see if I can get a nice little um, box to put these in and put the stuff that we did in the back and then have the stuff in the front. And that's an idea for you to do that. So that's it for this video. Until next time, guys, enjoy your day. If you missed the other two day dates that hubby and I went on recently, I will link it here down in the end screen. If you're new to my channel, click my face right there and subscribe so you don't miss another day date video. Fix it Friday, tiny tidy Tuesday, and all the things. Until next time, guys, enjoy your day.